Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride with this hexapod robot, its creator suggests. The spider-like structure weighs a substantial 10.4 pounds and is interesting because the algorithm of movement and many of the elements were designed and made by the author himself. For anyone interested, the author didn't skimp on the details of the project and posted a lot of photos on zentasrobots.com, so it's quite feasible to create something similar at home. This is incredible! Please make a 6-foot tall version with a top speed of 9.3 miles per hour, one viewer roads. In the meantime, here is an alternative from Harvard. Every year, about 175 billion plastic straws are used and thrown away in the US, so it's nice to see that at least some of them serve science. This spider-themed invention is as simple as possible. Air is supplied to the modified straws, and due to their flexible joints, the legs straighten out. The engineers have made both individual legs and different robots, reminiscent of stick insects, spiders, and even water striders. Arduino no microcontrollers are responsible for the movements, and the software part was quite a lot of work. They had to create a whole new algorithm for the eight-legged robot gate. We are living in the 21st century. Engineers are testing flying cars, drones are delivering pizzas, and scientists in the US have taught AI to determine a patient's race through x-rays. So when you hear the phrase robotic animals, you probably picture something like this. However, so far the developments in this area look slightly different. On the screen is a project from MIT. This robot cheetah may not look too pretty, but it can run at 25.1 miles per hour. It's still a lot slower than a real cheetah, but the robot has an advantage. It is self-learning. It's also easy to fix. The assembly process resembles playing with Lego sets, explain the designers, so it's easier to conduct experiments of all kinds. Well, and the robot cheetah is probably going to chase this robot from Japan. Local engineers presented a very original robotic goat, and the project is being handled by the Kawasaki Corporation. They showcased the robot at the Robodex 2022 International Exhibition, and in particular presented several scenarios in which it helps farmers. The robot offers a payload of about 220 pounds and moves in two modes. Wheels are activated on smooth roads, and legs are activated on bumpy ones. In both modes, manual control is available, and the robot is also capable of moving autonomously. Chinese developments are no less interesting. Take a look at these robotic rats. This is an excellent option for finding people under rubble, performing inspections of hard-to-reach areas, and other similar tasks. This version weighs about 7.8 ounces and was created after a detailed study of X-ray pictures of real rats. It has successfully passed a number of tests, including carrying about 7 ounces of cargo along a route with a slope of up to 20 degrees. The robot rat is able to position itself upright after falling, can bend its body, squat, climb over obstacles, and crawl. The engineers are interested in commercializing their brainchild. For example, they plan to create a model with sensors for inspecting pipelines. Did you know that a long time ago in what's now Colombia lived the Titanoboa? It was a 43-foot-long snake that weighed over 2,205 pounds. However, scientists were able to establish this only through the analysis of preserved skeletons, because the Titanoboa became extinct a long time ago. However, in today's video, this snake was resurrected in the form of a robot, and engineers from Canada are sure that it's the largest robot of its kind in the world. 
The robot was conceived in 2011 and completed in 2015. The 50 foot Titanoboa is controlled by eight Arduino Mega microcontrollers. The motors have a peak output of 25 horsepower and the robot moves at speeds of up to two and a half miles per hour. The batteries last about half an hour. At the moment, the team is looking for a museum, gallery or exhibition center willing to accommodate the robot on a permanent basis. Snakes have also caught the attention of scientists from the United States. This robot was created at Harvard University. The most interesting thing is the artificial skin with scales, just like those of a real snake. The way it works is that air is supplied to the system, and the skin is stretched, so the scales cling to the surface and move the robot. According to the engineers, they were inspired by the Japanese art of kirigami. Unlike origami, it requires scissors and relies on cuts rather than folds. Americans have tested a variety of options and chose trapezoidal cuts, which allowed to maximize the length of the movement. They plan to use their robot for different tasks, and it might even be used by rescue services. Another option for those who like DIY projects. This is an unusual robotic wasp. This $150 set will provide you at least four hours of fun because there are a thousand pieces to be assembled. The difficulty of assembly is three out of five, and there are two versions, ordinary and with light and sound effects. The estimated dimensions after assembling are eight by eight by eight inches. The main materials are iron and copper. The kit weighs about 2.2 pounds and includes a screwdriver and pliers, and two versions of wings and tail pieces will help upgrade the model a bit. You get the satisfaction and sense of accomplishment from assembling with your own hands, the seller adds. Why reinvent the wheel when Mother Nature has already done all the work? A perfect example is this robotic fish, modeled after the Pacific bluefin tuna. The test version successfully swam at a depth of about 40 feet for about 40 minutes, deftly maneuvering around with the currents and taking pictures. The Robot Tuna project will help find solutions for developing compact robotic submarines. They're needed to search for contaminants, mapping bottom topography, and other tasks. At the moment, engineers face problems with power as the batteries run out too quickly, so they decided to come at it from a different angle and make a better housing. Overall, the robot is a multitasking experimental unit, the engineers said. You are looking at the best invention of 2006, according to Time magazine. This is a robot that can climb on vertical surfaces. It was made at Stanford, and the engineers were inspired by geckos. The feet of these lizards are really a miracle, and it was possible to study them in detail, only with the advent of the electron microscope. It turned out that they're covered with the finest bristles called setae. There are 14,000 of them per square millimeter. The grip is so so secure that geckos are able to hang using just one foot. Stanford tried to replicate exactly that. One version of the bristles is five times thinner than human hair, and the key advantage is that it uses less energy compared to suction cups and sticky materials. The robot can already crawl on wood, painted metal, and even glass, and in the future, it could be useful to builders, rescuers, and researchers around the world. Let's go to Germany, where we can take a look at this robot goose. From afar, it looks like an actual goose, and people in the comments are worried that one day it will be accidentally shot. They've also found applications, such as a kamikaze goose for military purposes. The current version stays in the air for about 15 to 20 minutes, and there are different models with 64-inch and 73-inch wingspans. The head is made of basswood, beautifully painted, and combined with the robot torso, gives this homemade model a unique and recognizable look.
We are still in Germany, in Hanover, where the local engineers created this robot penguin. It weighs 21.2 pounds. It's equipped with an independent navigation system, and it can swim autonomously, either alone or in a group. It's powered by an electric motor, which, combined with 15 amp-hour batteries, allows the robot to accelerate up to 3.1 miles per hour and spend up to seven hours underwater. And the flexible torso structure became a reality thanks to the fin ray technology inspired by fish fins. Penguins are expert survivors in cold Antarctic waters. Their build allows them to expend less energy to move in the water, the engineers remind us. So, robot penguins with different equipment inside will surely be able to solve the most difficult tasks. Next up is a development that takes a new look at squids. And we're not talking about the TV show. Actually, a group of scientists was inspired by this animal and built this robot for exploring the underwater world. Essentially, we created all the key features that squids use for high-speed swimming say the creators. However, there is a long way to go. In tests, the model reached about 0.62 miles per hour, while the Humboldt squid can go as fast as 15 miles per hour. The robot moves by ejecting water, and the soft and flexible materials reduce the risk of damaging corals or injuring fish. Plus, the robotic squid is compact and can carry a camera, various sensors, and other equipment, although you won't find it on Netflix.